on Sunday, July 14th at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The Copa America Tournament comes to a conclusion with Argentina beating Colombia, with Argentina looking to win their 16th title and Colombia just their second. Now let's get into this Copa America final prediction and best bets. Before you make your bets for this tournament, be sure to take advantage of some great new customer promotions, risk-free bets, deposit match bonuses of up to $1,000 or even $1,500. All you have to do is click my link down there in the comments, this link right there, signupexpert.com slash shred the spread, and you can see the list of all of the great offers available to new customers in your region. Now getting back to the preview for this game, Argentina and Colombia. Argentina, not surprising, beef will be favorites. Looking at the odds at Bet365, they're plus 110 to win in regulation. The draw plus 187, Colombia plus 333. Now, unlike the other knockout round games in Copa America, this one in the final will have extra time. The others have not. So Argentina to advance through regulation, through extra time, or PKs, minus 200, Colombia plus 162, over 2.5 plus 175, the under minus 225. Both teams to score yes, plus 125, and the no, very favored at minus 175 for Argentina. Let's take a quick look and recap of how they got here. 2 nothing win over Canada, match day one. 1 nothing win over Chile. 2 nothing win over Peru on match day three. And then in the quarterfinals, it was 1-1 with Ecuador. They went on to win 4-2 in PKs. And in the semifinals, they beat Canada again, 2 to nothing. Now versus Canada in the semis, played out similarly to the first meeting on match day one with Argentina winning 2 to nothing. Goals from Julian Alvarez and Lionel Messi in the 22nd and 51st minutes. Canada certainly had some chances, but like the case has been for the most of the tournament, they didn't. They did struggle to finish, couldn't get on the score sheet, and were shut out for the second time in a row against Argentina. Messi, with his goal now, is 109 goals in 186 appearances, making him second all-time behind Ronaldo. Final stats: 51% possession for Argentina against Canada. The shots: 11 to 9. Argentina shots on target: 3 to 2. Corners: 2 apiece. And the XG was 2.2 to 0.8 for Argentina. For Argentina, they have they now have just two losses across their last 62 games, which is an incredible stat. Most people will talk about the Colombia streak, but Argentina is on one that's just as impressive or possibly more impressive. They've outscored opponents 20 to 3 in their last 10 games, all being wins. They've only allowed 10 shots on target against them this tournament, and the under has been a perfect 5-0 in Argentina's Copa America games. For Colombia, Match day one with a 2-1 one win over Paraguay. Match day two, 3-0 win over Costa Rica. Match day three, 1-1 one, one draw with Brazil. Quarterfinals was a 5-0 rout of Panama. And in the semifinals, a 1-0 win over Uruguay. In the semis, Uruguay started strong. Rodrigo Bentacor was forced out with an injury, though. After that, Colombia seemed to grow into the game and take control of the game. With the first half winding down, Hamas Rodriguez landed the ball perfectly on the head of Jefferson Lerma from a corner kick. Headed it past Sergio Roche in the 39th minute. Just as the momentum started to go in Colombia's favor even more, though, Daniel Munez took a second yellow card of the half for elbowing someone in the face. He got sent off in stoppage time of that first half, meaning Colombia was on the back foot, or at least would have been expected to be on the back foot, defending for most of the second half. But they still created many chances. Marcel Bielsa brought on Luis Suarez for Uruguay. He hit the post in 71st minute. But like I said, it was actually Colombia who looked to have a few of the more dangerous chances. They had some near misses just... Uh, going wide or just over the bar in that second half. Georgian Jarasqueta, a shot tipped by the keeper and over the bar late for Uruguay. That was another near chance, but they just could never break through. And Colombia goes on to win the game and go on to the final for the first time in 23 years. And it's their third Copa America final. Final stats, 62% possession for Uruguay. Not surprising considering they were up a man for most of the game. Shots 11 apiece. Shots on target 4-2. to Colombia, though, corners 4-3 to three Uruguay. And despite being down a man for half the game, Colombia still had the XG edge 1.2 to 0 0.8. For Colombia, as I mentioned, and as everybody keeps talking about, they are on a 28-game undefeated streak. That's the longest in their nation. Before they had a draw with Brazil, they had won 10 straight games. They've outscored opponents 55-16 to in those last 28 games. They scored in all but three of those 28 games, as well as in 13 straight. Head-to-head -head between Argentina and Colombia. The nations have not yet met in this year's World Cup qualifying down in South America. So the last meeting was in 2022. A 1-0 win for Argentina in the World Cup qualifying there. Prior to that, they drew 1-1 in 2021 Copa America action, with Argentina going on to win in PKs. They also drew 2-2 before that in 2021, also in World Cup qualifying. In regulation alone, not counting uh, wins in extra time or PKs. There have been three draws in the last five meetings between these teams and unders have been cashing like crazy, hitting in seven of the last nine meetings. If we look at 
some odds and bets and Colombia and Argentina predictions here. If we look at past Copa America finals, let's just look and see if there's any trends here. Argentina beat Brazil 1-0 in the most recent back in 2021. Brazil had a relatively easy 3-1 win over Peru in 2019. Chile and Argentina drew 0-0, 4-2 in PKs to Chile in 2016. Chile and Argentina drew again, 0-0, 4-1 in PKs for Chile in 2015. So Argentina has made the final now in three of the past four years, and all of those three where Argentina has participated have gone under 2.5 goals. The last time Colombia played in the final was 2001, where they beat Mexico 1-0. Now, if I go back to my free tournament video picks, I said Argentina was the most likely team to reach the, fi to reach the final and win the title. That's not going out on a limb by any means. They had a very easy path to get here. But I also said Colombia could li very likely top their group, even though they were playing against Brazil. And they did offer probably the best value to reach the final, as they just were coming into this tournament playing so well. And here we are. Both of these teams are here. And I do have a little piece of Colombia to win outright in my pocket at a decent price. I still feel the same way now. The obvious pick is you know, still Argentina. They've not done anything wrong. They still have Messi. They have the experience. They're the World Cup uh, winners. But I still think the value would come in on Colombia as I don't feel there's a whole lot between these teams as well. It's hard to go against the impressive Colombian streak, 28 games. But don't forget, like I said, there's only two losses and 62 for Argentina as well. So those almost count, uh, cancel each other out. Argentina's had a cakewalk to the final though. Peru and Chile are not the teams they used to be. And even though I might be Canadian, two wins over Canada isn't too much to get excited about. Anybody would have gladly taken those two games in the tournament. Their toughest task was Ecuador for Argentina, and they did nearly lose that game and just, just barely got by in PKs. Colombia have been much more tested. They've played teams like Brazil and Uruguay and played down a man for half the game versus Uruguay. Now that could be a negative in the sense they could be tired. They will be missing Munoz. Argentina will have a whole day of extra rest. So how I see all this shaking out is probably just a draw. It's not a sexy bet, but I don't see much between these teams right now. Argentina's allowed just one goal this tournament. Colombia only two. I think any bets that you start with here have to include some sort of draw or under. A first half draw is certainly an option at minus 110. Under 2.5, minus 225 could be used if you want to parlay it with something else in a different game or create some sort of same game parlay. I think this game's either going to be nil-nil or maybe 1-1. One, one. So both teams to score, yes. If, if you lean on the side of 1-1, one, one, could be in play at deep, better money at plus 125. Colombia double chance. Yeah, again, if you think, uh, I, I do think Colombia has a good chance to win this game. Certainly it could end drawn though. So Colombia double chance minus 143. A same game parlay, maybe Colombia double chance and under three goals or under four goals. Plus 120, minus 110. Those are a couple options as well. Or I think the value would be on Colombia to lift the trophy at plus 162. So for me, the best bet in this game is just a draw at plus 187. If, you, if I'm picking a winner, I'm going to go to Colombia to lift this trophy some way, somehow at plus 162. But what do you see happening? Is it Argentina? Is it Colombia? Is it a high scoring game? Or is the under the play here? Share all of your Copa America 2024 final picks down there in the comments. Be sure to give this video a like on your way out or subscribe to the channel if you've not already. And let's just thank everybody here who have joined this channel over the Copa America tournament and the Euros. Certainly have gained a few hundred new subscribers. So just wanna welcome everybody and hope you've all enjoyed these videos. I hope to see you all and hear from you all in the coming videos this summer.